So my internet friend Sidearms often complains to me when we're hanging out that I don't bake cookies for him. I like to bake cookies for myself and I think my cookies are very good, but when I'm with him, I never bake the cookies. And I figured I would fix that today by baking cookies for my internet friend, but I'm not with Sidearms. I'm with a different internet friend. Sucks to suck, Sidearms. <laughs> my cookies now, son. So we're gonna go to the grocery store and get- you know how hard it is to get a camera with you? You're too tall, John. I'm sorry, I'll shrink down. We're gonna, I'm still too far down here, man. We're gonna go to the grocery store. <laughs> it sucks being five foot one. Okay, that, that was, was my squeaky. shoes. And That's get, the squeakiest part I've ever heard, Joel. <laughs> oh, let's go to the grocery store. <laughs> Sorry, sidearms. Okay, so this is the first thing we need when making cookies. I don't think that's what we need. I need it. Joel, I don't think we need that to make cookies. I, I also need this. I don't think you need that, man. They're like brothers. Well, Are you joking? It's, all right, this is, well, do I want dark brown sugar? What's the difference? Uh, I just want like normal brown, light, oh, light brown sugar. That's, ah. not that it's better. I just, why, why is the light one better than the dark one chocolate? Milk chocolate. Do you have a spatula? I don't know. You want a new spatula? Well, I think I have a spatula. We're probably good. The one I have, it can hardly flip an egg, but I mean, it works. If you want a new spatula, we could get a spatula, but it's not the most necessary thing. The beaters- no, I, think, I think we're good with that one. We should have one. The beaters are more important. This is what I have at home. Bam. This is about to be the most expensive cookies ever, man. $40 for a beater? Okay, but then you won't have to buy it again. I'll this is- make cookies again. <laughs> Well, the alcohol is gonna be the most expensive. Yeah, no, this is fine. This one has the cookies pre-made on it. Honestly, those look better than the ones we're probably gonna make. What'd you just say? I don't know. Do you have bowls? Uh, I usually smoke them. Mixing bowls? Probably not, Joel. Jesus, dude. All right, we need both of these. I don't know for sure if I have that stuff. Okay, yeah, we need that stuff for sure. I hate these, but I'm gonna get them anyway. Are we get some Ryan Reynolds wrap? Yes, this is Ryan Reynolds mm. sponsored. I think, we, think got, we got everything, man? I think I we got everything. I might have forgot something, but. If we did, I'll be super pissed, but I'm pretty sure we have everything, including all the alcohol needed. We can only hope. What could possibly go wrong at this point, Joe? I, a lot of things. Okay, so we got all our ingredients, and we start with the butter. We want the butter to be soft, so I can break it up, but not as soft as this generation. The light is right on the, oh, it's focusing. Oh, wow, that, dude, that was actually really cool. Did it focus? It was like all bright. You couldn't tell what it was, and then out of nowhere, butter emerged from the dark, or the lightness. I like my camera. Cool. So I put my butter. That's Joel, everybody. I put my butter on my paper plate, and then I put it in a microwave? Oh yeah, you have that goofy ass microwave. If this is goofy, Joel, I don't want to not be goofy. That's not even how you open it. There's a button Oh, open it. it was opening by itself. Yep, now it's closed. Okay, that works too. Yeah, what? no, we'll just be a Neanderthal about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's the shot. Uh, sure. Okay, so is there like an express lane for your microwave? It hit start and it's gonna do the one minute like any microwave in the monitor. Okay, center. okay, well I gotta like pay really close attention to it because you don't want it to get melty because if it's melty, the cookies are gonna suck. Let's take a look in here. Okay. I heard that if you get really close to a microwave, you have a high chance of getting cancer, Joel. Okay, well, if you watch my YouTube content, you're experiencing a similar uh, circumstance. So, oh, yeah, this is... Finger that butter with your bloody fingers. Yeah, right? okay, just one of the fingers. Now, if you hit the close button, Joel, you don't have to do it like a Neanderthal. Oh, my God. Dude, give it three more seconds, man. You never know what might happen. Okay. What if, what if in this three second span, we hit the perfect... The perfect temperature? The perfect See, the ideal temperature. is to just leave it room temperature. Look at these fingers, guys. Okay, stop! God, fuck, I'm gonna... That was four seconds, Joel. Now it's ruined. Let's just stop the video. Back to the grocery store. <laughs> get some more butter. No, this is this will do. So I should have mentioned this at the start, but we're doing a half batch because a full batch is just too many cookies for adults to eat. This yeah. isn't a fifth grader's birthday party. And we're both petite. Yeah, and we'd like to keep it that way. Very petite. Uh, so I have to do some math, which uh, is Bone always tough petite. for me. So we'll do a cup of flour. Half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of baking soda. So this is baking soda. So we got half of those. Some good old salt in there. And then we're putting the butter in this pan. 
Okay. Right. Got the butter, Jill? There you go, you pieces of garbage. Oh, that noise, dude. Um, well, look at that buttery residue, everybody. It's so it's so bright, probably. Yeah, hold on. This isn't professional lighting. There you go. Yeah, you can really see that there. Half of three-fourths cups is six tablespoons, because the internet told me that. So I'm going to do six tablespoons. And I'm going to count, because I don't want to forget. One. Mm, that's some sugary butter right there, Two. Well, let me just yep. see what is going to happen here. Three. If I start saying eight, twelve, thirty-four, four, five, three, five, zero, six, six. six. Oh. I'm going to break these apart. I'm going to I'm really break them down. That's like what I do with my cocaine. Yeah, it helps to break them down emotionally as well, and just say, yeah, you're weak, butter. You're trash. I hate you. This is cookies. Yeah, this is what goes into it. I like it. This is gonna take a little bit. Knock this down on the side a little bit. Okay. Do we have the flour now? No. What do you think we had next? Egg. Yeah, one of your four week old eggs. These expired on the 18th. It is currently the 25th. And it, it did say sell by though, Joel. So I don't know if they're actually expired. Yeah. But you know, we're just gonna put a little magic in there. It's gonna be great, all right? I like to think that my grandmother in the 1930s ate eggs that were a couple of years old and she's totally fine. Wow, these eggs have tattoos. They do. So you know how like in some sororities, they'll take like a really hot brand and brand you? No. <laughs> what? Have you not seen Malcolm Jenkins' arm? What? It's a, it's a sorority thing. I'm not okay, sorority. that's a fraternity. It's a fraternity thing, sorry, I, I get confused. I was too busy hanging out with sororities while everyone else is hanging out with uh, fraternities, Joel. Um, yeah, no, Jeez. They're, they're tattoos. Well, I, think, I, I think it says EB for Eglin's Best. It's insulting enough to steal the children of chickens and then you have to tattoo them. Okay. Well, we're gonna just crack this in here. Let me see if I can get a good crack. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. One hander. No okay. residue either. Do you need another egg now? No, just one. Just one, okay. Just one will suffice. If it was a normal batch, it would be two eggs. That looks nasty. I'm realizing I forgot the vanilla extract, so that I put that. That bad, Joel. Yeah, it would have That's not tasted. That's a key ingredient, like... man. It's, I don't know if it is, honestly. Are you I just... sure you're not missing anything else over there? No, I, I'm sorry it's so loud, but I think it's fine. Now we're gonna put in the flour, salt, baking soda mix, and we wanna mix it in kind of slowly. Not all at once. Why? I don't know. That's because it's what I've been told, okay? I've been told that too when I used to make these with Mother Bear. Mm. And uh, we would do it pretty slowly, you know? It's looking pretty good, man. I should have rush it. Looks like cookie dough, which... Yeah, it's a little... Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add... The chocolate chip ice. The chocolate chips. So, uh, I think a full recipe calls for... Oh, I could just rip this. I didn't really need the scissors. A full recipe calls for a whole bag. So we'll pull like three-fourths of a bag. So it'll be extra chocolate chippy, but not too chocolate chippy. Okay, maybe a little more. That's looking pretty chocolate chippy, man. Yeah, this... It's, you know, I'd rather have more chocolate chips. It's a kind of a preference thing. It's like mostly chocolate chips. Well, that's good. I mean, they're not just cookies. They're first and foremost chocolate chip cookies. It's a big part of their identity. You do say chocolate chip before you say cookie. It's not like you're saying cookie chocolate chips. Yeah, you know? it's so important you, that they know their place. You want more chocolate chips then. Yeah, they're the kind of the stars yeah. of the show. It's um, like you don't go to see a Lakers game if the Lakers aren't there, you know? And you don't eat a chocolate chip cookie if the chocolate chips aren't there. I mean, I couldn't think of a more perfect analogy for what we're doing. I'm putting the dough in the fridge. Now it's time to leave. All right, we're back in the kitchen. It's way later and we had dinner and drinks and stuff. Yeah, honestly, I'm not even that hungry, but I still think I'm gonna enjoy the cookie. Yeah, we'll have like one cookie. Um, all right, how do you... What is your oven, dude? I, I, I need to preheat the oven. Um, Let me come on over, Joel. So okay. easy a Neanderthal can do it. Okay, right oven and left oven? Okay, so this is the left oven, this is the right oven. That would be correct, you'll get it. So, preheat to three, now, Jill, 75. Now, Joel, put it on bake first, actually. Okay, this is the most special oven I've ever, oh wow. Oh. You have, a why is there aluminum foil in your oven? I don't know, I haven't used it since I cooked the turkey on Thanksgiving. Okay. Oh my God, it's so blue. Is that hurting my lens? I don't think so, but it's okay. coming off more as a purple in my eyes on here. But okay. It's definitely blue in correctly. real life though. Okay, yeah, so oven on and preheating. So when the preheating light goes off, Joel, that means it's preheat. Hit it. It's pretty yeah, hot. Good. Yeah, let's take this out of here. Yeah, I don't think we really need that in there. Let's stick it in the microwave and turn it on. <laughs> yeah, and then 
See what happens, you know? Yeah, maybe have one of those what nice could, what could go wrong, players. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Kobe. Kobe. I'll hit my dick. This is a fun thing to do. You just look like the most alpha male I've ever I seen know. in my life. I know, I ripped it with one fell swoop. I don't know what that term so means, impressive. but. Yeah, everyone says that, but. That's I... when you would say it. All right. So the, uh, this part's tough. The trick is the ball, okay? You don't want it to be too thick. You don't want it to be too big. You don't want it to be too close together. And honestly, I always screw it up. My dad makes these cookies and he does it good, but he's also been doing it for 50 whatever years, however old he is. So if you ever meet me, I can make these for you in the 2040s and they'll be the best cookies you ever had in your life. But the 2018 version of the cookies are just okay. So I'm just I'm letting everyone at home know. I'm gonna go with that you did a size. Great ball. job of that ball in your hands, man. Thank you. Uh, I've, <laughs> as a big YouTuber, I've had a lot of balls in my hands. All right. <laughs> the only way to get to the top, guys. Yeah, you don't get to. We one... still haven't made it there, but you know. Yeah. Balls. Yeah. yeah, you don't get to 1.4 million and die without touching a few balls. Cut it, and then we'll come back to when all the balls are ready. Yes, ma'am. All right. I got the cookies rolled into balls, and look at that, guys. The precision. Hopefully, it's good. We're gonna put them in the oven now. This is the oven that's preheated. You can tell because the blue light went off. Yeah. Now there's only, oh, I can even feel the heat, Joel. Yeah, that's how you know it's preheat. We're gonna put uh, one rack here, and then, or one on the rack here, and then an additional one on the rack below it. One of them might burn, but whatever. We're, we can't eat this many cookies anyway. Yeah, so half that burn we'll just throw away because we're terrible people. All right. I like the way you think, Joel. Are they supposed to look like that, Joel? No. I think your oven is broken or something. I don't know what's going on with these. They look like melted ice creams. I think, well, maybe your uh, maybe your butter's too thick. I, Michigan butter isn't as thick. I don't. It's nasty. You have, something's wrong. Okay, well, let's stop filming until I was, I wanted you to film when I took them out of the oven. Hit, stop. People need to know what went wrong. What's wrong? Hey, there's me. They're really messed up, man. Hi, me. I don't know if I'm holding it. Is it weird that I'm holding his two hands? No. I don't want to have shaky arm syndrome like sidearms does when he's, he's filming. He's like, hey. Okay, so <laughs> something is wrong with your butter. Uh, this is not what they are supposed to look like. Honestly, they don't look that bad. Uh, it could be worse, man. I just, it's, it's upsetting because- Dude, Look how big that one is. Ow! You okay, man? Yeah, just touch the oven a little bit. Uh, it's upsetting because I pictured the thumbnail being you eating a, a moisty, delicious cookie I made, and holy shit, they could not look worse. I don't know if I want to even eat that, Joel. God damn it. Do we still have a picture from that frying pan? I mean, that, uh, that, the pan or- No, I threw it away. Baking sheet? Because we could just like put that like up to the camera, and then people would be like, oh man, there's your cookies. So if you guys look closely, that's actually two cookies. In my description, I'm gonna link my second channel video where I made cookies, and they were good. <laughs> that's amazing. I, I'm not eating that, Joel. <laughs> it's this damn California gluten-free butter you got here. It's like <laughs> that is normal yeah. brother. Bro. That is normal butter. Okay. I promise you, that's not that damn California shit. That Probably the chocolates. Blood. The chocolates were nitrate-free, so it. it, it Threw a whole imbalance into the recipe. Baking's mostly chemistry, and Jesus, this was bad. Can we just get one final shot of it? Yeah. Are you gonna eat one? Because I ain't putting them in my mouth. No. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I can make them way better than this. It's just because California has nitrate free, gluten free, uh, religion free butter. That's. For every awesome. like this video gets, a cookie will get a home. Or like this video gets a better cookie will be made. There's only 18 cookies, so maybe just 18 likes. Yeah, well, this is, these are like two cookies. Yeah, yeah, I guess we have 16 cookies now. Is okay. that correct? So okay. Just turn yeah, it off. Okay.